We're at Lesson 4.2a, Discovering Proportional Relationships. A proportion is a statement that two rates or ratios are equivalent, like one-half is equivalent to two-fourths. A proportional relationship is a relationship between two quantities in which the ratio of one quantity to the other quantity is constant. Each one of these is equal to one-half. They're all in proportion to each other. They have a proportional relationship. Here we have a bar diagram, and it shows how far Tala walks over time. We have three seconds. She can walk 75 and 6 tenths inches in this three seconds. She can walk 25 and 2 tenths inches in one second. We can use the bar diagram to determine how many inches is the third second. We see that it's 25.2, 25.2, and if we divide 75 and 6 tenths inches by 3, we're going to get another 25 and 2 tenths. We can also do the 75 and 6 tenths and subtract 25 and 2 tenths, get a difference, and then subtract the other 25 and 2 tenths, and we'll be left with 25 and 2 tenths. We can also add these two together first and then subtract their sum from 75 and 6 tenths. Either way, we're going to get 25 and 2 tenths. We can complete the table assuming that Tala continues at a steady pace. If she walks one second, we've got 25.2. If she walks two seconds, we have 50.4. Three seconds is 75.6. Four seconds is 100.8. And five seconds would be 126. We can fill the table by multiplying the number of seconds by 25.2. And since the time is usually the denominator of a rate, we can rewrite them so that the distance in inches is on the top as the numerator and the time in seconds is at the bottom as the denominator. This would be our unit rate. We could see the unit rate times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5. For each column of the table, we can write a rate that compares the distance and the time. The distance is the numerator and the time is the denominator. We can divide to write the rate as a decimal. The decimal forms of these rates are equivalent. The unit rate for the distance Tala walks over time is 25 and 2 tenths inches per second. If Tala walked for one minute at the same rate of 25 and 2 tenths inches per second, how far will she have walked? We think her rate is per second. There are 60 seconds in one minute, so we need to multiply 25 and 2 tenths times 60 to find the distance she walked in one minute. We do our multiplication. We have one hop in the problem, in, in the equation, so we're going to put one decimal hop into our product. We have 1,512 inches. If a rate stays the same over time, it is constant. This is a constant rate. Now keep in mind, she can't keep this constant rate forever. Being human, she's going to want to stop to take a break, drink some water, rest, eat. So she wouldn't be able to do this constantly forever, would she? But she might be able to do it for a few minutes. This table shows the height of a bean plant growing over time in days. In centimeters, with one day, it's going to grow half of a centimeter. In two days, it's going to grow one and two tenths centimeters. In three days, it'll grow one and three six centimeters for its height. And four days, it will now be two and eight tenths centimeters tall. And then in five days, it'll be four centimeters tall. The unit rate is five-tenths over one. Its height is five-tenths of a centimeter in one day. But look what happens when we do 1.2 divided by 2. We get six-tenths. 
And when we do 1 and 36 hundredths divided by 3, we get 68 hundredths. And when we do 2.8 divided by 4, we get 7 tenths. And when we do 4 divided by 5, we get 8 tenths. Well, we can see the rate is not staying the same. The rate is not constant. The rate is not proportional. If the rate was proportional, it would be increasing by 5 tenths of a centimeter each day. And it's not. If a rate stays the same over time, it's a constant. It's a value that does not change. In a proportional relationship, the change from one rate is equivalent or in proportion to another rate. These are in proportion. We have 5 over 1, which is equal to 5. We have a 10 over 2, which is equal to 5. And a 15 over 3, which is equal to 5. We can determine if two rates are in proportion to each other by cross-multiplying. If they're in proportion, the numerator and denominator of the product will be the same. We cross-multiply. We do 5 times 2 and 1 times 10. 1 times 10 is 10, and 5 times 2 is 10. We get the same numerator and denominator. We know they're in proportion to each other. And with 10 halves and 15 thirds, we can do 10 times 3, which is 30, and 2 times 15, which is 30. We have the same numerator and denominator. These two are in proportion to each other. We learned about ratios, rates, unit rates, and proportions in sixth grade math. In chapter 6 and in chapter 7, we also learned about it in fifth grade math in chapter 5. Hopefully you remember your 5th grade and 6th grade lessons when we learned about rates and ratios and unit rates. We're finished with 4.2a. We're going to move on to 4.2b, and we're going to talk about proportional relationships some more. Have a wonderful day, and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye!